Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to use Real Time Corruptor for PlayStation 2 games and how to you know, just how to corrupt PS2 games. So this is this has worked for every PS2 game I've tried and I've I've tried a big number of them. You can get some really interesting corruptions with the settings I'm going to show you. Um, really good corruptions for 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 the trilogy especially. Just amazing stuff. So you want to go right here to the vector engine. I've, tr I've tried a lot of settings on the vector engine for the limiter list and the value list. You can swap between those as much as you want if you want to see different things, but super extended holes and extended negative gives me some of the best corruptions I've seen in terms of like just weird looking crazy ass like psychedelic corruptions like in in, in, the, in the trilogy sometimes I'll get corruptions where like it'll like the last frame that was on the screen it'll stay there and it'll just melt away like like it was just nuked by a, it was like it was nuked it's really interesting stuff but yeah these two settings will definitely give you some great corruptions and intensity I don't know, intensity, it, it kind of depends on certain games. Some games don't like a high intensity, because some games, you know, you just need a tiny little bit of, bit of, bit of corruption, and, you know, you'll, it'll, it'll corrupt pretty hard. In other games, you need a lot of intensity if you want to really just fuck the game. But, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to, I guess, start corrupting, I guess, San Andreas. Uh, one thing I would recommend doing, so you don't have to keep like opening up the engine and stuff, would be to set up hot hot keys for auto corrupt and manual blast. So you know you can just corrupt with the game still full screen. You don't gotta do a bunch of blah blah blah. And another thing I would recommend doing is is to make a save state right before you start corrupting. That way you can just load the save load the save state like that by pressing F3 and you don't have to wait for the entire game to start up again. Here's a little tip if you're ever trying to play um, San Andreas in a, on PCXS2, you're gonna see these weird little like ghosting effects. So get rid of that, and I'll show you how to do that. So you wanna go in here to um, do, 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 HW Hacks, and make sure Skip Draw is on. And now there's no ghosting. So I already have my hotkeys set up. I'm just going to go ahead and start corrupting. Oh, okay, and as you can see, corruption's already happening. You'll see a lot of these things. I'm just going to warn people, if you're into corrupting, probably, you probably shouldn't have epilepsy or anything like that because you're going to be seeing a lot of flashing lights. Oh, wow, that looks really pretty, actually. Oh, okay. There goes the cars. Okay, I think it's fucked now. As you can see, I think my intensity is a little too high. It just kind of completely destroys the game. After five years on the East Coast. All right, yeah, the epilepsy, ladies and gentlemen. After five years on the East Coast. Oh man, poor, poor Carl. It's time to go home. After five years on the East Coast. After five years on the East okay, Coast, I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's time to go home. This is interesting. Even the cutscenes are like slowed Sup? down. Carl is sweet. Sup, sweet, what you want? This mama. Oh my god, my bag. Hey man, my bag. It's fucking it's made out of fractals. Look at my bag. Now the airport doesn't even exist. Oh my god, you could see fucking lady and it crashed. But yeah, that's uh, how you corrupt. Remember, vector engine, super extended holes, extended negative. There you go.